currently 9 o'clock in the evening and as you can see I'm already in bed because it's getting pretty chilly in here in Melbourne so I got in bed kind of early but I just want to chill and just work on my next project I finished the main part of the dress not long ago and as you can see it is gonna be a bodycon kind of style but it is a very short version this part only reaches my thighs it has a boat neckline i also added the distressed stitch also some unique color pattern so it is gonna be really sexy and cute i wanted to start using more bright and bold colors if you've seen enough videos of mine you'd notice i wear a lot of black but since i started crocheting i began to use more of the colors that i like like army green, purple, and blue but this is probably the first time I've used very vibrant colors like orange because this dress is a tight fit with some distressed stitches it's gonna give off a really sexy and I wanna say bodacious? is that a word? but you know what I mean just not afraid of showing off so I think some light colors will really bring out that vibe. I'm also starting a crochet beanie and this is just for myself. I've got some yarn left from the cardigan I just finished and this is I think about 100 to 150 gram and I think it's enough for a beanie. The stitch I'm gonna be using is the same as the cardigan so it's gonna be a matching set and I already have a tutorial on that beanie on that stitch. Pretty sure it's called yarn over slip stitch but I think some also call it half double crochet slip stitch.
In case you guys missed my last post, I'm releasing a new series on the channel. So far we have detailed tutorials, pattern design and guides, which is basically me showing you how I design my projects and walk you through what I did. This new series is about the things I want to crochet and knit for myself. Episode 1 is already on the channel if you haven't seen it. So basically, I'm just gonna save up a bunch of pictures of the designs that I really like over like a couple of months. And then I'll share them with you before I make either tutorials or guides on them. I'm super excited about this because most of the time I make tutorials based on my own designs and my designs are really simple. I always choose the easiest method pretty much and I always think about you guys if something is easy enough for you to do, especially some of you who are just starting out. But in this series, I'll choose what I want to make. It either be something I really want for myself or something I've never done before just to make it a challenge just to see if I can do it. I think most of the designs are not going to be too easy for me. I'm pretty sure I'll need to look things up too. So I think it's going to make things really interesting for me. I've already started the very first one, which is a cable sweater. And as you can see, I'm working very hard trying to figure out the patterns. But I'm definitely having tons of fun just doing this because I've been learning so much. 